Inferno. A bit of a twist to this tail. That tail, T-A-L-E, not twist to the tail. No piggies here, other than Chatty B. Okay. We're getting into it. This is serious business now. Crunch time and heroic just shy of the mark on Vertigo. I'm wondering if that's going to have any ramifications into our third. Let's get this party started. I want to have a quick look at the buys. Is anything particularly amiss? Nothing. In fact, it's the perfect mirror. Yes, indeed it is. And uh, heroic on the CT side, meaning they have won the knife round. It could be aggressive. We've oh, seen them push down. Oh, we missed uh, Rush Casting. Well, we'll work on it. We'll, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll workshop him. I think before he did a, uh, a B level job, we want an A level job out of Rush next time. Okay. B-Tech caster now. I'm kidding. It's just me. Uh, Nico has to fall away from this, though. Smoke's coming yeah. in. Flash is there. They're not stopping. This is straight through. He did take down Jax on the way, which is quite suppress surprising. Suppressing and surprising. Yeah. Suppressing the lights in here. Well, this is a big fight right here. Nexa getting the better of him, but I'm not sure he'll be expecting a second member on that flank. No, he wasn't. Oh, God. never mind. What is this round? Yeah. Hit. He's got no real way in if Amanek just plays the waiting game, which he has, and see how much room they've given him to maneuver. Oh, and just 10 seconds sit it. Pros don't fake. And they do check it, though. And that... Come back. ...is the end of that. <laughs> Hunter with three kills in the round. It's a quick way to seize control of it. And G2 get picking up the pistol. There'll certainly be no complaints there. I assume the force buy from Heroic will come through. We've seen them go for that plenty of times. They always like to bound on back. There we go. Cadian's getting the scout out. Can even get himself some Kevlar behind it if he wants, or just have the scout. Now, what you can do on the CT side of a map like Inferno, oh my god, MP9s as well. So this is going to be very potent. If Cadian can grab a couple of tags with the scout, soften them up to roughly that 30 HP mark, those MP9s, Deagle, the UMP, extremely potent at that uh, point. Oh, for real. This is actually, like, not too... Oh, they're rushing! <gasps> Ooh, and he's already tagged one of them with Down the scout. Oh. Something for info. Cadian's called the panic button, but already damage is inflicted. The CTs favor them in the feed. One more to hunt, and Down's got the head Headshot necessary, bomb loose. Huge. Wow, God damn. Cool. Jax barely made it out of spawn. Having to come back around and now you've got two CTs, one with a rifle, the other with the UMP. Sounds probably loving it. Jeez Louise. What on earth are you supposed to do with this one? Upgrade to the Galil, give them a sound cue to <laughs> set themselves up. A smoke first makes sense. And he does manage to not take a single point of damage upon his initial adventure. Recovers the bomb and that Galil. And the next step will be the walk up middle. The rotate's coming in all the way through CT spawn. Jax is in no rush, and I don't blame him. I like this setup from Heroic. They have all the information they will need with Katie and Because uh, he's got site. short, yeah, sure. Yeah, and then you have Nico covering the hole towards mid to B. So they don't need to panic off any of this. Actually, they do. Look exactly where Jax's smoke went. It landed front sight. That means that Kadian's lost his vision. That's actually really smart. He's hoping to catch the banana rotator and then run B. And if Stown does go down, there's a real world where Jax has played 40 chess. Stown saves the day. Damn. Cool idea from Jax. Really like that. You were bang on, Chad. You, you outlined exactly how Heroic had set themselves up, and we saw how he foiled it with the use of his utility. But let's see this one rushing down middle again. Down, getting himself out of that flashbang just in the nick of time to stabilize onto Amanek, and he continues to find his third here as well. So exchanging triple kills. Hunter in the first, down in the second. What on earth has the third got in store for us, I wonder? Force by back and a little bit of utility, but I think it's going to be harder for G2 to find their way into this. And well, we can see they don't want to take any early damage or aggression. They're just sitting very, very passively. Amanek is the most for the forward, and he's just been chunked on down to 50 <laughs> HP. So maybe he was uh, considering he should have stayed with the boys. Yeah, certainly a tempered pace from the T's. Second mid. Very cautious as they go. Maybe going to try and overwhelm. I think Kadian still very mobile. Scout, nice work from Jax. He showed such promise in that previous round. Might have a, another shot at it here. God, makes it over as well. Did he double dip? No, he was considering it, though, because the others haven't crossed yet. Tessus and Nico yet to be challenged on the site, so they know they're still around. Kenny's job entirely to contain this person. Oh, that's flawless. What? Groovy, baby. It's down in. Nothing he can really contribute, unfortunately. The bomb's already down, and he's just going to have to 
position himself and a way to contain. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind seeing him stick around for the Dosia X God dunk. He's got the HE necessary, but it's unlikely that he's gonna be in position to be able to get that one set up safely. No info as to where the T's are. That was three simultaneous kills. In the yeah, a matter of that seconds. was wild. No wonder Rush is having a hard time keeping up with it. It's impossible to be in three places at once. Time? Well, well, he physically couldn't have watched them all at the same time. That's how quick it happened. Yeah, that's true. Rush, how are you feeling about this game? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. You're right. There were three simultaneous kills. Um, not my fault. The the uh, player's fault, sadly. But uh, I think it was a, a fun round regardless. We'd never blame you for anything around well, here, Rush. Yeah, of course not. Of course I know not. now that Henry's gone, you and Alex are going to be stepping into the ring, having a bit of a tussle. Yeah, Alex has really taken up the, uh, the spot. He's... Uh, you know, slightly anti-rush, but that, that's okay. You I mean, anti-rush is a, a, is a stretch, yang. dude. Like, I mean, I, I just know that Henry had a degree of friction with you. The disdain. There the definitely way. was. And, and was I, I believe that that friction was warranted. And in his absence, I have to maintain it. That's warranted? I, well, I, I mean, look at the way you speak to us. You're nothing but a disrespectful uh, cat. <laughs> Lord. Um, well, anyway, this is a big round coming in. Some saved weapons on the board. Uh, take it away. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> Rush. There's some saved weapons on the board, so let's take it away. I wonder if anyone's going to be malleable in this round. Yeah, there could be some incandescence of the flame as well to be cautious upon. <laughs> nice little poppy flash here from Jax, which goes into Hall, get the individual Ooh, towards the tail end. It is, nice. a, it is a specky one. Groovy. And they will get control of the boiler and halls area, respectively. As oh, I don't envy Cadian's hold there. Moving around graveyard, I mean, it's great for one, but in support of Borup, headshot angle makes sense, but no rush at all from Nexus squad here. No. Patience, certainly the case. And they still got plenty of utility to post up whenever they please. don't like that Stown's doing such a exposed jump peak with 30 HP, because it's just... It takes one jiggle from Amanek and a nade to dunk him. He's playing forward of this. The flash is good. Well, he's done well to get one, but four on four. Weapons recoverable. I want to try and pressure on that, deny that info on B, but it's not going to work out. Tessis is in a position to confirm its absence. Bore up in the apps to be tested. Here we go. Oh, he needed that. Perfect. Gets the AK. Cadian trying to keep their distraction working, but the bomb is going down regardless. And his shots are just not quite connecting. Oh, oh dear me. Jax is tree and okay, in like a little mosquito in the room. Just on oh. bust. He's got the old can of spray out, but even with the dealing of Cadian, you had the support finally arrive. Bore up and Nico turned up, cleaned up, and his job done again. We've seen some very topsy turvy rounds so far, Chad. It feels like the worse you buy is, the better the chances. And that is uh, not the equation that we were looking for here today. I was doing my algebraic formulas and. This is not how it was meant to play on out, but that's the game of Counter-Strike is G2 with the plans and a little bit of extra damage here from Jax before the round was closed on down. Maybe a bit of spitting on the screen there from Tessus. We've all been there. But uh, it will be the buy round again from the side of things for G2. They have the money to work with. Oh, we're getting the we're getting the hand warming back out. I reckon Jax could start a fire with those bad boys if he goes any quicker. So you can see we're five rounds into the game and the buys are relative. You know, look at this. SMGs on either side. Obviously, Kenny has having to go with that pistol, but everybody else with some big boy rifles. Heroics is definitely a little bit neater, a little bit keener, but depending on the approach of G2s, they could level that playing field. Absolutely could. Molly towards top mid there. Tessus barely holding back the flood. Flashes, and here they come. Amanek in oh. the flames. Yeah, Acadian actually did enough damage there to finish off the job. Does take a brunt of it back. Molly's going to get things hot and bothered for Nico. He's going to be forced to smoke that out. He opts for a deeper one to aid his escape. Kenny burning now as well. It's a proper nade exchange. It does seem like it's favored heroic every time. Heroic look good to break serve here. Pess is set up well with the MP9. Should get Nexa as he comes on through. Nico can babysit Katie and the rotation in from Bow Up. It's down with all the info over towards Banana. Hard to see G2 breaking in. Someone needs a multi-kill. Oh, it's not out of Hunter's wheelhouse to give us a quick one-two. One, one needs, flash. Yeah, exactly. Someone to set him up. That flash would catch Nico, but it's going to be a bit high. And as he turns into the side goes next, Hunter's only got the one. Not enough. Insufficient. 
And Jax adds to the list as well. So Heroic third, keeping four alive. Interestingly enough, three AKs alive as well. Worth noting that that T weaponry has been plied and uh, been working wonderfully for Heroic. Tessus needs a drop, Borup can provide. Let's see how this one starts. So that was the MP9 damage combined with the Molotov. It made taking that risk even more damaging and lethal. Borup's second frag here. Bring home the round. Jack's blo blocking his teammate a bit there didn't help the scenario either. See you later, mate. He's out. Maybe he comes back for next round. I don't blame him. And, and he uh, had a terrarium there, Chad. I wonder if he's got any uh, <laughs> snapping turtles or alligators Ooh, in there. Okay. Shouldn't have them as pets. They get very large and dangerous. Yeah. Snakes or...? <laughs> Snapping turtles. Oh. Um, not so large and not so dangerous. Just, just, just clocks apparently. Um, but they've managed to take Cadian's life, which is quite surprising. He goes just defending this weapon. <laughs> Standing on top of it. Hunter baited and eliminated. Hamannik spotted. Yeah, and three remain. Yeah. Trying to keep it clean now, honestly. Has that gun been recovered yet? No, it's still there. The prize possession. They're all guarding. It looks like the T's are heading elsewhere. Maybe to try their luck with that P250. It's down. He's not subtle about this. You mentioned it before, the very wide peak on that, but smoke down. He's actually going to stick around up close, maybe be willing to fight for the territory. I don't know where these T's are trying to head towards. They've done the perfect job. Look at the utility left on the heroic side of things. They have a kill, and we only have a Molotov and a Flash left. So they have done a great job of milking all the utility out of heroic. And now it's just a matter of waiting until the last few moments, running on in, and, and definitely getting taken on down. So Stown should deal with both of these quite easily. He will do exactly that. And that's now four on the board for heroic here. Now, both of these teams, the last time they played this map was in Pro League, both with losses. G2 lost to OG and Heroic lost to Entz just the other day, 16 to 13. We had the pleasure of covering that one. And I think Nico in the pit was one of our highlights. Mm, he was a bit of a good. monster over towards that side of things. Big sustain. Big sustain? Is that like a stat line? Oh, okay. I was like, maybe it's that like a stat line in like a MMORPG or... He just had sustainability. I mean, he was able to stay alive for an incredibly long amount of time while also still doing great deals of damage by time for rotations. Yeah, but in terms of the secondary stats available, Chad, it can be critical strike, versatility, mastery, stamina, intellect, agility. <laughs> there's, there's a, there's a plenty wide to go so you can choose. You can choose the tree, or is it? Is well, it more about? It's more the... about what synchronizes well with your specialization. Okay. For you, you know, if you're a plumber build, you probably want some versatility. Yeah. You definitely want to make sure that you're, you know, you're not only fixing the pipes better, but also breaking. The, the ground more effective. Okay, so oh, it's some smart. strength. I need to, some. So strength is absolutely strength is good. a good yeah, start. We'll some some strength, some versatility, yep. maybe a bit of mastery. Um, All right. I don't know what a plumber's mm. mastery would be. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's to do with how quickly you can unclog a toilet. Well, more so, it'd probably be like the flow of water. You know, the the gradient required. Down, isn't it? With gravity. Gravity is involved. I heard. <sighs> In the whole plumbing situation, a, a bit more nuance. Maybe a, oh, a bit more nuance. There's, a bit more, oh, there's nuance. more to there's it. There's the floaty bob a bit in the toilet. That does a real <laughs> floaty bob a bit in the toilet. What's that called then, Chad? I mean, in the cistern. Yeah. This, well, that part. Yeah. Is it part of a toilet? What's the floaty bob called in the cistern, though? Ah, uh, oh, oh, I've yeah, heard of the, really... the cistern chapel. Is it? Yes, it's quite beautiful. <laughs> heard of that one? <laughs> oh, now this is a technical timeout, so we will continue to talk about nonsense. And you know what I want to talk about? Why is mm. bloody Kenny S got a glowing Rainbow Six logo and not a glowing Counter-Strike logo? What's I it? keep seeing that and I'm really not sure. What's going on there, Kenny? We have yes. glowing logos? We don't have any glowing CS logos. Oh. Maybe Rainbow Six sent it to him and now he's kept it there as like a passive-aggressive oh. reminder <laughs> that Rainbow Six sent him cooler things. Maybe uh, if, if someone in the Counter-Strike community wants to send Kenny a glowing Counter-Strike sign, uh, he can replace it. It looks the quite well made, though. Yeah. You know, it doesn't look, you know, like yeah. someone in home tech or whatever. It would would work in shop. <laughs> Put it together. I, I did metal work. Metal work. We made like toolboxes. Mm. I, uh, did you do woodworking as well? I was a woodworker. Yeah, we all had to do it. Did you make a pencil case? Uh, no, actually. You, a clock. Pencil box. case in woodwork. Yeah, you make a little like pencil box with like uh, the the. No, you get to joints. practice your drilling and your yeah. dovetail joints. Your hammering. That's the one. Like a bit bitter. Is there any hammering? I'm sure there was some hammering. I don't, I don't we weren't really using nails back then. No. It was all just the dovetails and yeah. a little wood glue. Okay. All right. Yeah. Didn't trust us with the point. No. Things. I do remember my first Kate, uh, cooking lesson. Oh, yeah. What did you make? Uh, at DT, design technology. Uh, I think we made a pasta salad. 
I made a pasta bake. Yeah. You know, like it's the first <laughs> thing. It's like, all right, teenagers, we're going to teach you how to cook. You're going to put some vegetables in some pasta. That was enough. Like that yeah. was a full lesson. I remember going to my mom every time at like 10 p.m. at night going, Mum. Oh, exactly. I've forgotten it's it's <laughs> cooking tomorrow, I'm Mum. I'm cooking a pasta salad. Oh, need... <laughs> You're like storming around Sainsbury's reluctantly. She's just she tutting passive aggressively at you at every pickup. I need baking nice. yeah. as, much as, as much as I loved high school, in high school I was just playing yeah. Counter-Strike. And when you're in high school just playing Counter-Strike, you need some tips, right? And we actually have a pro tip that we can throw to right now because this time out will be going a little bit longer. So check out this Inferno pro rush, tip and we'll, we'll come on back and we'll get it underway for you. That's what you got, Rush. Hey guys, going to be doing a short video of showing you how to retake top mid with what util you can use. Uh, pretty straightforward, uh, nothing too much going on. Uh, the first util you can throw is from Pit. If you're the apps player watching um, Pit from Secure, you can throw the smoke, basically get into this corner and aim at this second antenna right in here, this, this little bulb thing, whatever it is. So yeah, just get into the corner. Line it up, just jump throw. Pretty simple. Should land straight into mid. Smokes off any orbers, uh, any rifle that wants to hold a line, and they would have to be pushed forward into mid. Uh, the combo you'll be using will be this flash as well. So you get behind the barrel, aiming at the top of the antenna, and you just throw. Uh, very good flash. Very common flash as well. Gets everything, gets boiler and all of mid as well. Uh, the second piece of U2 you can throw is a Molotov. It lands the same place as where the smoke does, but it is a Molotov instead. So after you do take mid with the Molotov, you can actually smoke off mid, um, giving you more time, or you can hold on to your U2 as well. Once you do retake, you can fall off and have your smoke for later in the round. Uh, so the Molotov would be around here. Pretty much how you line it up is you're aiming at the top of the roof of the church and you're lay, uh, lining it up on this right side of this thing here into the sky and you pretty much throw when you hit the roof of the uh, site so just running through the roof game you can throw a little bit later just so that the molly is deeper uh, basically pushing off anyone that's holding the line as an orpa or as a rifler and doing the same thing pretty much as a smoke now, the third util you can use is another Molotov and you throw it from sight, basically behind default. You just aim at the right side of the window here. Uh, you make sure you throw it really deep. And you want it really deep so it gets into boiler, just so no one is holding these lines or even in these lines, just ready to trade if you do flash onto diggity, uh, not diggity, that's, that's what people say in Australia, but uh, into short. So. Uh, yeah, very good Molotov. Uh, you can also use the same uh, <clears throat> kind of flash lineup if you want to use the flash, or you can get your teammate to throw a flash as well. From here, the same flash that you th was thrown before. Now, obviously, you want to make sure you talk with your team to coordinate the retake to be as efficient as possible. So it's all in good timing and making sure that the retake is uh, very smooth. And that's pretty much about it with all the U2 you can throw and to retake top mid on Inferno. Thank you for tuning in. Now, the reason we were looking at that pro tip was because we lost down. It sounds like he's just having a bit of a problem with the old radar. To my other leg now. That was hats from Renegades, by the way, for everybody playing at home. He, he did call it diggity for everyone. Yeah, you used to say that. I, rem I remember when you used to show up, you'd be like, yeah, they're night and diggity, and now it's not really... Should I just yeah. kept going, oh, that's hats. I was like, I don't know what that means. He gives me no context. Hats from it's Renegades. Hats. It's hats, It's Lauren. hats. It's hats. That's it. Oh. Absolutely no oh. idea. All I knew was oh. it wasn't Rush, so... I don't know how I feel. I've received word, actually. So just before you click that X, before you start loading up the old MM. Hang here. Chill. Chill out. Hang 10. Can I, can I do this? I want to center everybody. I want to center everybody at home. I want to center everybody in, in the room. We're going to take a big, deep breath in through the nose. I want, I want everyone to hear it. Wait. I'm going to count down for three. Three, two, one. That's a horrible sound. Through the mouth. <laughs> All right. We're back in the game. We're going to get back underway. And we're going to be kicking off Inferno. Or not kicking. No, that's too Something less violent. Too violent. We're going to be caressing, commencing. Oh God, this is very uncomfortable. Our first and more softly spoken, Inferno. Welcome to the ASMR approach. It's due to an heroic. Uh, taking a quick look at the scores, you'll you notice. Do some tapping. Stown and. <laughs> 
Brown has got seven. That's seven frags so far. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. And of course, on the other side of things, we have Hunter, Nexa, Jax, Amanek, and Kenny S. Yet to see too much from Kenny, but my goodness, isn't there time for us to enjoy more from his orbing delights upon re-entry into the server? Mm. Okay, can I get a resident sleep printer? Thank you very much. Just to encourage and engage. Uh, that thing. I need it. I need it. Why do you cater it? to the lowest because common denominator? Because they're funny. Well, it's we're funny. They think uh, they're funny. We're it's funny. Different. It's a funny picture. Yeah. It's a funny picture. I need more than Cat pictures. jam. Like, everything's exciting when it's just like an animated little emote. <laughs> Lauren's being brainwashed. She went away for three years. They brainwashed her, and then they sent her back to indoctrinate Lauren, you and I. So Lauren, I knew, never yeah. had Twitch chat open. She was like, "Screw those guys." Now she's oh. sitting there, resident sleepering. Oh no, <laughs> they're quite she's funny. Pogging. She's I, champing. She's I pause champ a lot with you. Pause guys. champing. Yeah. A, there's she's, like, there's like a Pepe. I don't know. Thanks to do with hands. You said we need to do. We, we are planning a lesson with Chad. We might have to bring you in as well, Alex. I think if this so. is the case, I, 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 me I mean, and Rush will be leading that lesson. Lauren, I I heard you use the word vibe check unironically recently. Um, yeah, it's because I try and cater to the youth of today, so they feel I'm also one of them. But also, uh, because I just I now actually unironically watch TikTok a lot because it's also quite funny. I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. What does vibe check mean? Well, I mean, so you know vibrations, you know, vibes. Good vibes. It's yeah. been around for a while. Yeah. You know, the idea mm -hmm. of positive energy. It's actually got rooted in some sanity and some actual, you know, sense. That's the idea groovy, of, baby. You know, good vibrations, the idea of if you bring negative vibrations into a space, mm. uh, yeah. those negative vibrations pass on to others. And so, you know, if you live in a dark world and you push out dark what vibes, then everyone around you will be perceived Feeling in a darker hard. sense, precisely. Yeah. So the idea was good vibes, and now they've kind of used vibe check, I imagine, Lauren, this is an assumption, that it's, you know, just checking the vibe of the room. Correct. I mean, not anything. I mean, you can apply it. So if I said like anywhere. vibe check my crepes right now, just like the vibe right now with what's on the screen, the vibe's bad. It does. You know what I mean? Like that's not it's a, a good bad vibe. Do you think that's a good vibe? Well, it's it's a different vibe. I don't know. It's maybe game's like a, a middle of the road. I'm just vibe. telling you that he's in a dark room. Game's not started. Sure. The vibes are bad. I only learned what mood was about two years ago. You know that people would just say like mood, mood. and then I was like, what? yeah, that's just a word. Um, yeah. Okay. Lauren, I've been struggling with one. What's, um, people keep saying WAP to me. <laughs> no, Lauren, wait. I'm really surprised you wouldn't know what that means. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, that's very surprising. No, no. You should probably Google it. I don't know. I'll have a look. Okay, yeah, see what yeah. I can find. It's wet something. Do some research. Uh, WAP. <laughs> um, I'm going to derail this because that sounds like it's going down a scary, scary path. Um, Ah, I've okay. got it here. Yeah. The definition of a WAP is a wireless application protocol, oh. uh, which is a process in cell networks that used to transfer. Oh, the if text you enable WAP, ra precisely. Is that like WAN? Like the, there's, there's, there's like LAN, kind of there's WAN, and yeah. then there's oh, WAP. So there's networking. There's all these different networking things you go on. Um, Rush, do you know much about networking? Uh, I actually did learn what a modem was quite recently. Oh, yes, we had that discussion, didn't we? Yeah, because should we see if we can remember? Basically, the internet comes yep. through a cable, which is like a weird-looking cable. Yeah. And that weird-looking cable goes into the modem, which makes it into like a normal-looking cable. Holy moly, do you know WAP is actually eight points in Scrabble as well? It's a viable word. That's pretty cool. Oh, I guess, yeah, the W and the P. W and the P, like, it's pretty fat. Quite substantial. Yeah. So, hold, so Rush, and so, then... So, you, anyway, yeah. the, the, the normal-looking Ethernet cable goes then into the, the router yep. or the router. Yeah. And then that does a bunch of other stuff, and then you can route, route more Ethernet cables. And if it's a Wi-Fi router, yeah. you can uh, send internet basically through the air. Wow. I, I preferred how. our conversation. It's such a resident yeah, conversation. Yeah, what is this? I've got a good question. I have a good question. <sighs> All Rush, right, go on. How's the 3D printing going? Uh, it's going well. I haven't printed much. I think the last thing I printed was the Baby Yoda for Lauren. You so want anything else, get... Lauren? You want any other presents? No, I'm all right. You sure, yeah. Lauren? You don't want like a Pepe hands or like a, a weird champ or whatever the you thing is. You said you can print say. anything, right, Rush? You well, print to a certain people. degree. I can print a Peepo, sure. Yeah, dude, that'd, be, that'd be good. I'd Do you like want that. a wide Peepo or just a standard? Uh, maybe a wide Peepo sad. Wide Peepo sad, And okay. then a wide Peepo happy, and then we can... Give them to these two as like ways to show their emotions. Yeah, the yin and the yang of, of the crew. No, we don't say yin and yang. We're not, you know, come on, mate. What were we talking about? Like Zen stuff before? Why people Good happy, why people sad. That's what you got to say now. That's yin and yang. Okay. Um, that's a rabbit hole that also... Okay, Chad, do you know what emote people use most when you're talking? Uh, I, you no, I, and I don't <laughs> want to offend the people in the chat, but I, I, I don't... I imagine it's positive, chat. bro. So it is. It's, it's quite good. 
Okay, what is could it? You, could you Kipo. theorize? Oh, it's not Those. quite. It's, it's a people think. Okay. Yeah. Because ah, you're, you're a talkie yeah, they, smart man. It's, it's, ah. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. They like right. it. Okay. They appreciate the content. That's good. Yeah. I, I'm glad that I'm glad that they enjoy it. At home. Yeah, they're having fun. No, we're having a good time. Well, why don't we talk a bit about Malta? Because look, this well, I can't is bring much to the conversation. Well, Alex and I can. Been on holiday talking. when I was 16 once. Lovely. Don't think I left the hotel. The Queen has a house there. I think it's a bit decrepit these days. I'm not sure if she visits often. She's traveling much these days. Well, no, you would hope not. But look, Malta, um, it's, it has lovely sea. So we can actually just have a forum of discussion here. Uh, we can go to a break. It sounds like we do have another extended Aww, delay. Okay. So again. Do you want to or do you want to just talk nonsense and I, get told I off for it? I honestly quite like talking Yeah, let's just do that but, then. But I don't want to get told off. I don't know I, if we'll get know. told off. No, no, no. I'm not saying that the, that our overlords will, t- will tell us off. I'm saying <laughs> Alpatine that, walks in. Yeah, exactly. The Sith <laughs> wouldn't necessarily just mind. Just across the balcony. I'm just saying that there may be, you know, some that tune in and go, oh, analysts stop talk. Okay, we need yeah. to get the red phone back out. I'm not sure where that prop is. I'll see if I can. What was the red phone? We had some props here last time round. The yep. uh, red phone was one of them. I brought the red phone back at Leicester when we were doing Pro League last year. Ah. Um, I don't know what, like, really the gag was for. I just kind of like having things on Wait, standby. It'd be nice to have something that signifies it's nonsense time. Sarah, oh, 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 the cheeky producers. We're getting played off. No away, Sarah took the away. casters. <laughs> she took the kids. Sarah. You guys sing this in the car on the way home. Don't embrace it. I just, I really didn't imagine that when I came back, you were like, you need to look at chat. I was like, what do you mean? Yeah. What do you, what, what do you, why would I look at chat when there's, there's not a party? This is what I hear. I don't know how to do this <laughs> 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 Zannies to the something, something. Your feet away from well, we're water. on we're on camera now. We need to, we need to be sensitive. <laughs> at, least <a> <laughs> at least a little bit. At least a little bit. But we can stay seated. I, I can at least hide seated. behind them. Stop the straddling the desk. <laughs> right, hold up. Maybe I go a little bit. Do I should go higher? I think, oh, the I, think this is it. I think this is Ooh. it. Um, there you go. I'm oh, you're I'm much <laughs> higher. <laughs> what? How have you pulled that off? Hold that kind of works, actually. Yeah. Mine doesn't go. <laughs> Breakdown. <laughs> oh, I was about to dance and I realised we're off camera. No, no, the, 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 the curtain's been pulled back. So I have so much room to manoeuvre. So when we're casting, this is kind of how I He's troll. a pacer. I'm a pacer. pacer. I'm a manoeuvrer. And, but you haven't thrown over the chair yet, which is obviously the top of the No, routine. that's because I sit like this, right? Like a proper plum. Yeah. This is the only way I can kind of see the screen. I like <laughs> kneel on this. St- I kneel on the stool like that. And it's such a liability. It's hot in here. Sorry, I'm, I'm, oh, my yeah, God. Go crazy, dude. But chat, I hope you don't mind. We, it's either this or you go to a break, so... What do you prefer? Well, you know? don't ask him that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't give him an ultimatum, you m- m- oh, oh, silly sausage. Oh, yeah. All right, now let's oh, let's, let's, gosh, okay. let's, Whew, let's bring it over. Sarah's let's bring it. Sarah's over. Okay. Let's bring it back. Let's bring okay. it back into the room. Let's bring it back into the room. And, Why? Well, because what I want... <laughs> I was like, what's the point? Have you got, have you got a direction? I was trying to get a direction for well, us. I was trying to give us somewhere to go with this. Now, mm. last week we played a couple of games together, matchmaking games. Oh, we did, yeah. yeah. And I was curious if we wanted to play some more. Now, I don't I know when it. we would play some more. I don't well, know. I don't. You've been socializing a lot. You guys, go, well, not obviously within quarantine. Within, qua- within our quarantine crew. a little group that everyone's been very uh, responsible with. Yeah. You've been out and about. You've been enjoying. Did you do like a Monday dinner. Yeah. Um, so we can have yeah, some friends yeah. and a little bit of True. normality within our lives. Um, and we, we basically just go to the same restaurant every single time. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe in the evening? I mean, we do the single days. So yes, like tomorrow so be and Wednesday. Wednesday and would it be Friday then? Friday would be the other one. Okay. Um, but I was going to say, do, do we, do we want to get a fifth again? Or do you, I know that you guys enjoy the random fifth I don't element. enjoy the random. Oh. But sometimes it's a necessity because we don't have a fifth. Me and Henry I used to call the fifth a Nikolai. Okay. Because we, we want at one point meta, re- relatively friendly Nikolai. Uh, and so we've kind of kept his name alive. And so we'd often refer to, <laughs> if we were keeping just four, we'd say, do we have a Nikolai? Okay. Yeah. And uh, I've invited many a Nikolai. I actually have quite a, 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 a penchant for finding um, a fifth random. It's it's very, very talented how, how you seem to get the best name, the best yeah. everything. It's it's quite something. But no, I, I'd prefer a 4-5 if we want to be actually semi-serious about it. Sure. I know that Rush uh, doesn't like the serious vibe, but he's more of like a fun gamer. But, uh, but what <laughs> don't, does that I don't mean? Wanna, I don't want to have a rant. Don't go on the it rant. It really annoys like, me with no, this. It really this. winds me up. No, but, no, but, but Rush, okay. So Rush has oh, this. No. no, it's not a rant, guys. I, didn't, <laughs> no. I shouldn't have prepared like that. Rush has this thing where 
he seems to have this image in his head that matchmaking is like a stressful competitive environment. Yeah. It's because I think I sometimes yeah, you do. Can no, make but it he was like that before he even knew you. So let's not pretend you're the. Like, oh, okay. It's like 9 p.m. and he's like, yeah, but I have to do DM. I'd have to do at least two weeks of DM before I could play. You know, like he's got this kind of idea that he has to be super warmed up to play a single green? game. Or Please, Green. Yeah, I am here. I am okay. here. I'm here. Can you get all this Defend yourself. Well, Defend yourself. You know, I don't, I, when it gets uh, the super serious, you know, I, I've never played super serious. You know, I mean, I, I do like to. Um, but You're also, like one of the capable fraggers of the team. Uh, yeah, but that's if I'm warmed up a little bit. You know, when I'm coming in uh, out of danger zone, you know, I'm doing 180s, bumping, and then uh, you know everything's so claustrophobic when I play CS at the moment. Everything's so tight. All the corners are so close. And I'm just not used to that at the moment, so I do want to have like a solid day of just DM to get back in form. Have you ever actively made the time to do a day of DM, oh, which, yes, you definitely, which you definitely. deem compulsory? Uh, compulsory? Well, it's I should be DMing every single day if I'm going to be completely honest. Mm. Um, but uh, sadly, I don't do that. Mm. It's a shame, really. Yeah. So how I, long of DM per day do you think you'd need, Rush? If you were to do it every day, as opposed to one solid day of DM, would you say 15 minutes? Would uh, be I enough? don't think there's a, enough time in the day to be honest. I, I should be. I don't know. Before a game, I'd like to do like 30 minutes or so. 30 minutes what of deathmatch. What do you think you get from deathmatch? I just warms up my aim. It does. You need a whole day of it. No, he said 30 minutes. No, 30 that's, minutes. To, that's to ingrain some more, you know, uh, what do they call that? Muscle memory? Mm. Is that the word? <laughs> yeah, that that's is cool. the one. That I is always the find one. It, it curious about deathmatch because they're not really Counter Strike scenarios you often find. So it's, it's interesting muscle memory, whether it's valuable or not. I'm so glad you said that, Lauren, because that reminds me to remind you of ESEA's new tool, ex available exclusively to the insiders of ESEA. Before, check it out with your pre fires and your that's other the ones. One. Yeah. Over on Bobbly there. Yeah. But like, jokes aside, the yeah. pre fiery one. It's really good. It's <laughs> Useful. The idea of, you know how you just said it's not really angels you'd take? Mm -hmm. The pre-fire one, they've just put bots that legit kill you if you don't pre-fire. And I was doing the overpass one the other day. It took me like an embarrassing amount of attempts to do the B-site one. That's so, that's useful. That's yeah. valuable time invested. I feel like sometimes deathmatch is just like mechanical. Sure, you'll feel warm, yeah. but you could do that in anything. Like it doesn't, I don't think it's as valuable as people think. Well, I, while Rush is hopefully still floating around, I know yeah, the whatever. CSGO hub map that they created, right, uh, is is they have movement stuff in there, Rush. Are they relatively difficult as well? Because I know you're a bit of a movement yes, specialist. Yes, the KZ one did take me a little bit. By yeah. the way, this is going to go live in like 30 seconds, That's just right. so you know. All but right. um, cool. The KZ one I completed, the surf one's pretty hard, and the B hub one is de pretty damn hard, if I'm going to be honest. All right. Okay. So if we played that map every challenges. day together as a collective unit before we were to play matchmaking games, would that be cool with you, Rush? And we yeah. could all go movement-wise, we could do some aim, For and then sure. we could play? We could do some offline prep in uh, Sorocco or Black Site no, as we well. No, we weren't talking about like. Danger Zone. We oh, okay. About, uh, but, oh, He's ten not seconds, play. ten seconds. All right, ten, ten nine, eight, seven. It's like we're the fireworks. Three, two, one. Happy, Happy New Year! Year! We're back in game. Happy 2021, everyone. We're skipping oh, the last few oh. months. Oh, what? Oh, no What's one's wrong? moving. Oh. oh. There's only four in the server. Rush, Rush come here it. right now, young man. Rush Lee. Yeah, what up? <laughs> Ten <laughs> seconds, you said to me. So, from what I, I'm aware, this is actually live, believe it or not. Oh. What, with a floating seat? Oh, you maybe you wouldn't right. believe it, but okay, I, so I do believe this is actually a forced live right now. So, so my understanding, and I'm, I'm not I'm not Graham Pitt, and I'm definitely not an admin, um, they only get a certain amount of technical timeout if it is something that is just related to being a ping issue. Oh? So if it is just a ping issue on the heroic side, which is what it, apparently we were reported to, uh, Stan was having issues but, with his router, uh, both teams are doing... Uh, G2, uh, so this might be like... Like a gentlemanly... Oh, yeah, G2 are the ones. On yeah, so it doesn't make sense that... Because Stam's there. Okay, well... Nessus is running around the server. Well, let's hope that this gets fixed. I'm, I'm sure once we soon. get, like, full confirmation of what's going on, we'll let you guys know. It's, it's a little interesting, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's a curious it's one. curious. I think it's the first time we've encountered this. Have you, you know what we can do? Um, could you free fly this camera to the little um, second middle, this, where the little stairs are? Yeah, yeet. I saw the other day, yeah, just around this corner here, mm. the fact it's Via Dante. I know no one really cares, but Dante's Inferno. Inferno. Via Dante mm. and... Uh, you, you went past it. Alt, alt mid. Yep, just there. Yeah. And what's the, what's the, um, could you just keep, look at the little menu board just to your left? I want to know the pricing of the various snacks. Okay, so we've got the, Ooh, what do we have? Lauren, how's your, uh, how's your Italian? Uh, okay, so no, I've, I, just seriously for a second, um, I know that we're looking at this stuff and we're, we're filling some time, but I am receiving word. Have you got um, actual updates? Yeah, uh, actual updates. Okay. So the, the technical time has expired. This is live. If they don't do damage, then the round doesn't count. But if they are delaying the match, uh, then they can be penalized. Now... Do they both know this? Uh, well, they should know the rules. Uh, I'm sure True. it's been quite clearly communicated to them by uh, the League Ops Department, okay. um, who would be in the server with them right now. 
so this is unprecedented what's happening right now, ladies and gentlemen. We will try our absolute best to, to keep you updated as all of this unfolds. How peculiar. I've never right. in my life experienced this. Yeah. I guess this is an online exclusive, um, so yeah, I apologize for the for the downturn. Oh, this is going to be a big mess, isn't it? It is. I can, yeah. I can sense it. I can feel it in my waters. Now, uh, oh, uh, it's going to... Mm. So the flan, the zucchini flan was seven euros. Oh, yeah, let's go back there, Rush. We yeah. might as well, because we can't commentate nothing and we can't sit here speculating because that's the last Ooh, thing. Oh, here we, we go. I can commentate the uh, noughts and crosses going on at T-Spawn, though. That looked pretty good. Oh, it's a big play. He does block it off. Oh, did they go for the center play there? Got no options. Go top right? Oh, he's locked it down. One oh, chance. Oh, oh nice defense. Solid stuff in round eight. Looking for Jax to make the first oh, they're move. They're going again. Is anyone stepping up to the plate for oh, round two? Borups coming to spawn. Coming. Oh, we have a he's, we have a competitor, a ladies and gentlemen. He's Borup. In the arena. Oh, Steps. Oh, oh, they've ruined oh. it. Okay, get this one. Okay. Okay. Oh. <gasps> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna draw right. and Jax too smart for their own good. Yeah. Reset. We need a we need a trickier okay. game. Jax and Tessus face to face. Tess is thinking about this one. The young gun. Boys. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's wow. really clearly, I mean, we, Chad, it's relevant to what you were saying. Neither of these guys know the rules. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh uh, dear. Uh so ooh. I might go make a phone call. Yeah, on the belt. Um, I've received some confirmation. Okay. Oh, we are gonna replay that round. Oh nice. Um, so we can all just take a chill pill. All right, cool, nice. cool, cool, cool. Pill of chill. Uh, so I guess they need to use the old the old uh, Rima jiggy on the oh. on the bot. Bonk. Imagine if because Jax just shot Tessa, this, <laughs> this, like this counts as live. Yeah. Yikes for me, dog. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, Junge, Junge, Junge. Oh, he's got an eye-by power sticker on the old uh, M4 there, but it's like a poopy M4. Seems like a bit of a waste. Is it a cool M4? Am I insulting it's, someone? It's the wrong eye-by power sticker. And it's not the cool one, yeah, true. Yeah. Katowice 14 are the bougie ones. Yeah. But Rush, don't you have a reason sticker on yours? Uh, yes, I have a How recent holo. Uh, well, I sold one for 700, but I think they're worth a grand now. Just <laughs> maybe even more like than that. M4, it's cash. Yeah, it looks looks very nice. Yeah. I don't remember what I did with all those stickers. I, I, I literally don't remember. I sold my cobble case eventually. I got one, oh, yeah. the souvenir cobblestone dragon oh. one. Nonsense. Yeah. All right, so it's paused again, which is a good sign. Okay. And they got five. Yeah, so they, we're getting some positive news. You like server. five so in the server. The score was four to two <clears throat> uh, when we had the technical issue come through. So if we're rolling it back to that round, uh, hopefully that happens pretty quickly. I, I, I would love to do... Can we do a show match on Cobble at some point? Uh, yeah, look, we probably won't have show matches for a while. Why? Um, uh, Counter-Strike's online. Yeah, same but reason, that's time for fun, right? I guess. Some people don't like the fun. Oh. Yeah. But, uh... Video games are not a place for fun, Chad. This is for hardcore conversation. <laughs> I just We could talk that. about the geopolitics. Maybe we could talk about Goodness the Goodness gracious economy. me. Those words are... Oh, economy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> <And> see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've re I have received positive news. You haven't? I have. Oh. Okay. The backup uh, will be loaded within the next 75 seconds. Okay, 75. I said nine. It was, I got told 90 and then I rounded down. Oh. She like had a little bit of time. I did have a little bit of buffer and I'm not so good at counting... Uh, like, obviously, Alex has to be able to do it when, like, Alex, we're coming back to you. We have 30, minutes, 30 seconds of an intro, which we need have you to Have you ever count that down? I usually just, in my head, um, start doing the 10 thing with my fingers when I reckon it's 10. And okay. Most of the time, I'm pretty yeah, close. Close enough. Close I enough. always just pray that the producer's listening somewhere to what I'm actually saying. That's not, uh, uh, it's a dangerous that, game. Oh, yeah. It's a dangerous game. When, when I'm doing the segments where I just do, like, a telestrator one, and like, all right, we yeah. need you to fill uh, three and a half minutes, and I'm like... Well, um, I'm just going to talk and we'll, Dude, we'll see what happens. I remember, Blast Copenhagen. I'm standing there in front of a crowd of oh, 15,000. Yeah, it's just me with giant hair. And I'm just <laughs> sitting there and it's, they go, sorry, Alex, uh, PC down the stage. Uh, you're going to have to keep talking. I didn't even have oh, a Just me, yeah. Lauren. Just me. Imagine filling with yeah. a microphone. Are you ready, Copenhagen? Hey, wait, I was, yeah. I, I was there. No, you, you were a backup. You came in halfway through. You were through. the backup oh, dancer. Back. I don't remember. You came, you came and saved me. They threw a mic in your hand and you became my duo, oh, but yeah. for a while it was just me going, you ready, Copenhagen? You are? Tough luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, they rolled it back. They rolled it back. Roll it back. Roll it back. Time. We were rolling back the years there for a moment, so I'm glad okay. that there was no dramas and we can get this un one underway. Everybody's shaking hands. Smiles have come through. Babies are being kissed. The admins have given it the A-OK. -okay, the double thumbs up. And away we go. And away... 
So where we left off, we had these weird moments where all the lower, crappier end of the buy scale was winning every seemingly round. I think Hero just tied two together. I'm trying to catch back up here myself. There's four spies. Eventually, yep. Heroic won the, uh, won the, the four one. spy wars, and now we're sitting at a four to two spree. The only two rounds G2 have posted were on the lower buy rounds. There it is. Whew. Okay, through the flames, Amanek. Isn't quite going to connect anything just yet. It's a great, heavy price to pay for seemingly nothing. Cadian boosted up on that half wall. I am a bit of a sucker for this position for an author, especially if he does. Ah, uh, okay, stick around. Oh. Not interested. Get your hopes up. Like when you see a solo warper on that half wall, I'm just, it's like the perfect way to start a full back warping route, right? You're gonna get one, you're off the wall, it's super easy. You've got the tight line for number two, a little wall bang, number three, you're in CT, you're in coffins, you've got four kills there, all from different angles. But he's not gonna go for it, and I'll get over it. Nico tucked in. Five at A right now yeah. for Heroic. They don't have utility to really what? flush out Nico, so this is actually a pretty solid setup from the uh, CTs. But you're right, yeah. It's a bit of a gamble, it seems. Cadian just coming over to throw more utility. That is wild. That's an in-game leader move right there. No one else is making a play like that. Yeah, he knows he's got enough time to go and lob over an incendiary. And I say he knows. Nobody knows with conviction. So this is, looks like it could be a fake into B. They've got two smokes they can line up from bottom of middle. Kind of like the way they fly through. Let's see what that does. Ooh, both sides of the A site. Mm. Here we go. Nico. And spots the bomb and the lion's share of the G2 squad. But with 25 seconds, they opt to tuck in. Good flash. Returns his vision. He can't pull the trigger in time. Down needs more. The one, he gets two. Hunter to plant. 17 seconds. Tessus in pit needs another. Bomb down courtesy of Hunter. Caden closing that gap. He needs Kenny, and he has found him. A two on two. The action continues. It's all on to Hunter. Excuse me. Kenny gone. Two targets spots Tessus, expecting the close in from KD, and he needs to separate these into 1v1s. He's only got nine bullets, and KD only needs one. It's a different smoke wall that we're seeing come out there. It is, a, it is a curious one. I think the idea is to just completely ignore the pit player and get sight control. And the old way that we'd see Toons do that is with the wall across from the hay bale cart to pit and then jumping out and taking sight that way. So this is a new variation that I haven't uh, witnessed too many times before down a bit of a hero right there is now the scoreline will be five to two and we're finally back underway so hopefully we can continue in a, in a good pace from this point onwards who's that in the background is that was that ahead of nico, nico? Yeah. yeah are you like is that a lan i guess that's like a gaming like event maybe i'm not sure that was a nice backdrop yeah, big picture of nico yelling about something oh tech is out lauren's favorite i honestly Hi. Such a fun weapon to play with, but yeah. Can just get a good idea though. A little look down towards second middle, and now this 3 2 approach towards, at least for now, apps is going to be met by sheer force. Cadian here, Nico by his side. I don't know if they're going to get much out of this. Oh! Ooh. Jax with a belter. It's traded on, but this is this is a little rough around the edges here. Nico having to relay race that orp away back down towards pit but look at this tech nines up towards ct arch jumping over looking pretty dangerous yeah nico's hit a great shot there he is single-handedly defending this a all in amanek straight from Whoa! the transfer he did not let go of mouse one to find amanek in that swerve nice save of the orp as well from nico honestly very impressed by his handling of that that could have been a lot of players are overwhelmed when his body's being thrown at him but he did so many things right in a short space of time it's a difficult thing to measure i know in the past when i was playing within tournaments and i tried to do exactly that players were too close i got overwhelmed i fumbled the guns and i died so for him to be able to do it especially against a low buyer yeah. that did some thumbs up right there didn't get run down they kept them at bay and well now the guns will be back out for g2 awp in the hands of kenny s Enough utility to make whatever they want work. Next to with the Molotov towards Top Banana just to go force some control. And it is a five-man lean towards B. No joke. I have never seen this style ever before in my life. What the hell is happening? What is going on? How many mollies are they putting down? This is insane, Alex. Yeah, look at Nexa. He's avoided as many as he could, but there's now flames forcing him forward. How does he get away with that? Gets away with murder, but still heroic maintained thanks to the dunk of Borup. That is actually insane. That is such a gamble. It's unique. Maybe they've got the uh, the stats to back up the G2 of never going for a fast day. I mean, I, I don't think I see many teams doing fast mid plays. I mean, obviously Fnatic once yeah. upon a time. Arrogant. But it's very rare. Else, it's yeah. very rare. Just doesn't seem Oh, look like at that the... pixel gap. Ah, <laughs> Kenny found it too. Borob's gone. B-side's open. Kadian does pluck Amanek out. That's the bomb. He will slow them right down with that. 
the advantage they once had, and it was only momentary lapse of judgment. Oh, barrel and a frag. Great work from Kenny. Been quite quiet here, and wow, yeah, the fact that he's got two frags of his three this round is testament to that. Should be set for one here, though. I've got a good feeling for Kenny S to get a couple more here. Oh, Nico, oh, yeah. did he get yeah, 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 yeah. Jax, though, called upon, checks on it. Nice work between the two of them. Now, Tessus is left in a spot of bother here. Creeping around the church, going towards ruins. Through he goes. Kenny, unawares, not checking on this. That's... Oh, oh my no! God, what just happened? What was that call? What was the miscommunication that made both of those players completely sure that no one was there? What on earth is happening in this game? I don't understand it. I don't get this whatsoever. A five-man B lean at the start and just more utility than I think I've ever seen thrown in Banana. This wicked shot from Kenny. And then two individuals just... Uh, uh, I'm speechless on that one I've, right I've there. Tr I've truly never seen that. Surely I, that's a tilt from G2. I, it has to be. It has to be. How does that have a gun? We're calling a something stop something again. Something going on. Did someone disconnect? Yeah. Was Kenny disconnected Hunter's that whole time? Hunter's not moving. Hunter's not moving again. He was the one they had issues before. Man, what a what a shame to see such a, a promising third map of a series yeah. get kind of tarred now with the uh, technical issue brush. Yeah. It's not fair, not fun. And of course, we apologize for the delay for your free entertainment. We have no control over it. Yeah, hopefully we get it back underway pretty quick because I, I'm enjoying what Heroic are doing with the gambles. So th this is an exciting game just based off of uh, what Cadian wants it. Yeah. yeah, because they've done a couple of these little maneuvers and I, I love the balls to be able to make calls like that. And even to get your teammates to subscribe to something like that. Yeah. I, I would call like gamble three man rotates to be bomb sites on a map like this when I was feeling it, right? Just a gut read. And that's one of the cool things that you get to do if you are an in-game leader, but you need your teammates to buy in and they have to buy in 100% because if it's just a look at this, I would love to see it from Jack. Jax's POV, like, okay, so he's pivoting. Jax is covering him, but that's the worst crossfire I've ever seen in my I, life. That can't be a crossfire. No, it doesn't make sense. No, it, it, Maybe it, Kenny DC. I mean, I could... I he's think. crouched. That's the, the thing yeah, that that's true, me. He's true, crouched true, and, true, like... True. There? I don't know. I think maybe it's a huge misplay. Well, maybe they have, thought they heard something. What would have suggested something? Tessus went banana? I guess he was an unknown. It was an unknown entity, was he? Yeah, uh, yeah well, he's still behind the smoke, right? Nico okay. snuck yeah. through the yes. smoke, the okay, nade went you're right. deeper. He was the unknown from CT, so maybe yeah. Nico was the only CT player. Kenny's trying to fill the banana cap. Wow, interesting. Hmm. Um, just waiting for an update. That's another G2 round to add to that list. Yeah, there's so oh, many on that no. list. Oh, yeah. no. Looks like it's live. Okay, back underway. Back underway, back underway. Guns will come out. Bye is alles good. Sehr good. Yeah. This is... Phenomenal clutch to put the seventh on the ball. <laughs> Heroic. It's a special one. He'll it remember is. it. He yeah. won't get that clutch. That is unreal. And he's still representing the org. So these new gen players, it was Bronwyn on the Krieg. It was Plopsky on the Krieg. It was Tessus on the org. And so we're off to the races. I would be a little salty if I'm a G2 Esports mm. member. Mm. Definitely feeling like I've been hard done by here. And oh, it comes in droves. More punishment straight oh, down middle. Amonek's yeah. gone too, just sending him home. Oh. Oh my god, Nexus can get two. What is this game? He didn't finish the job and he's looking for banana. This is so peculiar. I just, I feel like we're watching two teams spliced together. Like, you know, the CT side is playing someone else and the T's <laughs> are playing someone else. It doesn't look like a real game to we're me. In the Twilight Zone right now. Very obscure. But I do love the fact that Hiroka turning the screws a bit. Yeah, well, look, remember the scoreline on Vertigo, Lauren? Yeah. Yeah, that was an 8-1 scoreline. It actually became a 16-14 loss for Hero. So G2 definitely aren't out of it yet. And the mental resilience, which we didn't really associate with them previously, is something which they have been working on and showing us with all the overtimes and the victories they've been able to post in recent times. They can do it. Adrian can't do that one, but he certainly can get away. I want to see what they muster from this one. We've seen a curious line of smokes from the T's. That was to kind of isolate the pit play. Then we saw that brilliant B lean. We've such curiosities this game. Certainly to be remembered in the most weird fashion, but for now, Tech Nines, a couple of smokes. We could be seeing something similar towards A.
They've just cleared out top banana, but they have no information. So brackets and banana is given up in the favor of G2 Esports right now. Looks like another AA executor's going off. Yeah, and they're going into the three-man stack. Up long. Pulls the trigger regardless of the flashbang. So no sight, but still the frag. They got any fight left in them. Perfect yeah. gun for the job, isn't it? Yeah. That range was tailored for it. Yep. Next to now. Walked away. Every position Whoa. noted. There was an opportunity. A missed shot will give you a, a moment, but Nico. The immovable object, really, when it comes to pit. Hmm. Okay, well, right now is where we need to see G2 bounce back. Obviously, when the momentum gets sucked out of the room and, and the flow gets disrupted a little bit, things can be hard to turn around. But that's what I was just saying, is that mental fortitude on their team, it's something that has been tested in recent times. And it's something they haven't had any problems with. So Malik, get in the ear, put them back on the straight and narrow, and let's get some G2 Esports rounds on the board so we can have a competitive third and final map of the second series. But look at Cadian's push. He's going straight down the guts. He finds the headshot onto Kenny. No what for Kenny this time round, and that's a 4v5 off the bat. He's feeling himself, Cadian. That's a move you only play when you want to truly just continue to make insult of injury. Holy. Oh, yo, yo. Horrible call to clear, close wall. Making sure no one's close up and enables them to get another deep smoke deployed. No needs to chase them yet. But Cadian's reposting up. It's actually a down, excuse me, double orping play. And he's so actively ready for this fight. He wants to get the one and done. They're going to flash for him. Oh, and there's the flash to get away. Yeah, cool. That's really cool. He actually repeats on that. Oh, okay. Getting sketchy for G2 now. Stam can hold the close line. Yeah, exact Mundo. Boost first. I got the flippity floppity knife. That's what they call it. Yeah, if you get that animation, you know, and good luck. Yeah. Kills away a little. Smoke comes in. Let's see if that luck holds true. Was towards Emo. Swings out a little. Let's be proactive on this. Catching the flashes, though. Going to put him out of it. Borop's going to be the first port of call, but they're kind of pressuring towards ruins. Cadian's seen it. Now they know they're in trouble of all sorts. What is that from Stown? I summon Quick it. as anything but the trade instantaneous. Yeah, he's got a shot. It does need, you need to see Borop die, and that's the opposite. Finds the head of Nexa all onto Amanek, and Borup's playing this fantastically. They've got Borup on A, a real problem. They've got Nico on Pit, a real problem. Like, this CT setup from Heroic, I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but it does feel like they've definitely the better team today. They're taking a lot of these audacious angles. They know they have a lead. They're trying to stop G2 from finding a foothold in this T side by continually dismantling and disabling their full game plan to be executed off the go. And it's worked. Again, back to the Deagles quasi. They will not go for the full buy. Tech 9's flying up second middle, and Cadian might even get some info here. He's going to instead just post up, make sure there's no late T-steps action. He's, there's a timer on this, and he knows it. Yeah, we'll fall back and prepare to quash any early T aggression up mid. If they're setting up an execute and only going through the mid corridor, it makes their life a lot harder. Having no one teaming out of apps and trying to jump into pit is a difficult task, and the smokes and flashes they go over, Back towards the arch side, they saunter, and through the flames, they burn. The flank as well. This is brutal. Stown doesn't need to fight. He knows it. Distracted, and Borrow goes one for one. That does give Hunter and Armanek a little bit of space to maneuver, but Cadian's holding the edge of the smoke. He sees it. Oh, and blows it off. Armanek down, round over. G2 fall flat again on the Tech 9 armor. Looking a bit done, isn't it? I wouldn't be sticking a fork in it just yet. Did you put it in the oven there? Definitely. I need four. I think G2 need four just for their own yeah. confidence sake here. If it's a if it's a 13 to two half and Heroic go into the second half with this blistering confidence, even if they lose pistol round and then they go for the force buy in the second, it's not the same as what we were talking about over there on Vertigo. That's a whole different kettle of fish. Right now, it just looks way too easy. No AWP for Kenny yet again. So if Kadian wants to keep going aggressive and finding some jewels, he can do exactly that. Stown's moved off the secondary orb, so they're saying very versatile on the CT side. If you're G2, you're like, Whoa, wait, hold up, the double orb, is it in play? Is it not in play? I, I find it amazing as well. We go from the initial kind of banana back and forth of every molly being put down there to now none being placed. I think maybe one got put down in the end, potentially. And if even in that, I don't think the B players have used theirs.
Teesside being almost broken on the clock here. By the time they go towards B, potentially, or anywhere else, they're up against so much utility. Nessus. Here's the step snade comes in. Great nade, Beautiful look at nade that. Towards Jax. You can't ask for anything more. And we do see the lean now coming back out from B. Players coming over, flashed in. Borup gets to have a little bit of a peek, but no one made it that far from the tees. They're still in mid. Look how much utility Stown has left still towards the B bomb site. Their economy of utility has been fantastic. He has a smoke, a Molotov, and a flash. So even if they try and overrun him, they're going to have to run through smoke or flames or both. This couldn't be better for Stown. He's played this very well. There goes the Molly. Smoke goes in. So he's buying, buying time at least for the rotation. So if they come through, they're oh burning gosh. alive. Stown, absolutely masterful play. And now the CTs oh. are there in support. It's perfect for Heroic. Couldn't ask for anything more. It's just one man. Nexa up and over gets taken down. Kadian finishes him off. 12 to 2 on the scoreboard here. Money, well, max loss bonus, cool. But G2, they don't have an entry. They don't even have a way in. The door's been slammed in their face. Heroic are looking fantastic. See, we've got an issue with Alex's headphones. Hopefully they'll be fixed up nice and quick for you. Otherwise, it will be me and Chatty B. But yeah, Stown, I mean, we <laughs> initially seeing the fact that there was more these left on those B players and it coming in late, that was just perfect. Again, yeah. this is this is one of those games that Heroic are going to be absolutely chuffed with. This is something that you can kind of, you know, post up. For obviously G2, it does look a little flat here, Chad. I don't know what the road to recovery is, but two rounds, I don't think it's going to be enough. G2 obviously need this round. I don't know if I need to say that, but Heroic as well, just to keep their foot on the gas. Don't drop this one. You've done a fantastic first half. Jax postured forward, grabs one in the flash. Tessa's on the trade. Can you find more spamming wildly? Kenny eventually grabs one. This Still is more Nico. like it. Hold on, don't get ahead of yourself here. Nico's still alive and kicking, but that kill over towards the bottom of mid could be opening something. The bomb's still there towards oh, the Nexa. Timing. Oh, Nico, this could be great. He comes around, he spots out two. He knows oh. where the play is. He's going to make the call to Borup. Borup's over there. But Nico now may be taking a second to consider because Borup's seen nothing. And they were meant to be heading towards Banana. So Nico, does he go for the double look? He's going for a look again. again. That's brave. It's brazen from Nico. And now the 2v2. What was what? A 2v4? Something around that marker. All favorable. He's going to fall away. And he's done the job, right? He can fall away. Now he can play the percentage Counter-Strike. He's taken the risk. He's leveled it up. He's done one of those Nico aggressive plays that he's never afraid to get involved with. Burrup has the time to walk through this smoke. Use it to his advantage. 37 seconds left on the clock. By the time that smoke's fading, we're probably looking at roughly 15 seconds. So he can use that to his advantage. Wow, maybe a little bit more. 20, 20-ish. 20 he still have more smokes, more nades. They have to clear him out. He doesn't have to fight. He can let them into the trap. Oh, Bora. Play the time. He played this position really well before. They've got to be aware he could be here. First check. Oh, he's won it, surely. Kenny going down is massive. Nexa trying to hold on. He will have time for the plan. The smoke shouldn't dissipate before it goes down. It doesn't. And now Nexa and Nico. Nexa not given too much time to adjust, but Nico, how much did he see? Not enough. He's having to check as he goes. Kit in hand, flash as well, but Emo will be the final port of call. And oh my God! Nico, the adjustment is filthy. Three kills that round and Heroic have looked. Honestly, pretty nuts this half. I don't know what to say about it. It looks like a broken G2. We'll find out if there's any recovery after the break.
between the strobe lights and honey black face hey follow me around okay ah black face hey follow me around okay ah you so want it bad you so want it bad but i i can't taste it huh. Up on my plate, now I can't think. I said, woke up, take a X, and now I'm feeling this is it. Want the money, want the rest. I do purse, not no sex. They say, Don, it's why you sat. I said, I just need to think. And as you can see on G2's faces, maybe a little baffled after Heroic CT side. Some new looks, some unique plays, and a belting scoreline of 13-2. I cannot believe how that last round went down. Just Nico taking the last round into his own hands. Two massive kills down mid, postured forward, continues to pick, and then that pivot onto Nexa. Holy moly, red beans and bloody ravioli. Trey Stunner Saranthus would have been losing his mind over that one right there. And GG.bet, the odds. Well, uh, I think that's a pretty good call considering considering how that first half panned on out. So let's get this one back underway. We're looking at a truckload of utility on the side of things for G2 and for Heroic. Both teams well strapped. Yeah, we've got Molly's Galore, Flashes, Smoke, CZs. On an eclectic mix, as our dearest machine would like to say. But as once he has returned to us from uh, headset hell, We'll have him back on the mic. Don't worry. We didn't get rid of him. He hasn't been carted away. But for now, the T's do take that top banana control all in as well. No one watching the back at all. If they go for the front site execute here, they can do two smokes. So there could be one for the post plan if they just want to do the standard coffin and CT smokes. Or we could also have a look here at the Molotovs towards Emo and Newbox. So it looks like it's a standard execute. Here they come, Coffin and CT, Molotov towards Emo, one towards Newbox. They should get in for free right now. Amanek has to respect this. We have two smokes for the retake though. So this is gonna be a 5v5 post plant scenario with the ability from Kadian to re-smoke spawn. And he's just done it. God, what a unique set of rounds we are having. This is a very unorthodox game, but the scenario posted up well for the T's for now. All present, no pressure yet, but it's gonna flood in. Down, sitting anti-flash in case there's anything, but no, it's Tessus to take contact. Kenny there, Amanek there, and everyone taking the challenge. Not a single T player has fallen just yet, as Kenny switching up to that CZ, trying to put up numbers, but by now it's just Jax and Tessus. Outstanding player. I didn't even see the ace, really. He put, what, two or three kills up, but then the rest just fell into place. Lovely, lovely work. 14 to 2 now. All right, well, uh, <laughs> if we didn't think the game was over before, uh, the game could be over now. This is the couple of kills over towards Coffin from Tessus there with the Glock, very poised, didn't panic, didn't spam. Damn. Just able to, to mow them all down, and then with the US, oh, the oh, USP. that's nice. Yeah, that's tasty. I think uh, Heroic want to get this one done. <laughs> they had enough of the technical issues that uh, plagued them earlier, and well, they want to get back on track, back on schedule. I think everybody at home will be 
thanking them for that, because up next we do have another match of Counter-Strike coming your way. Yeah. Wheel never stops turning, Chad. The Counter-Strike wheel. Well, it is FaZe versus uh, Fnatic, so that could be a banger of a game. Want to see more out of Kyobi and Yanko and the boys, see if they've been able to change anything up. But the change up on the force buy from G2, it's nothing to write home about within the early stages. They've actually decided to forego control of the B bomb site, playing over towards the CT spawn side of things. And well, Heroic with four out of the five are postured up and ready to go. So any moment now, oh, we don't even need to wait for the smokes. Lauren, because Kenny's dead. B's open for business. And uh, well, G2 are probably down 15 to two. Yeah, Tess is feeling it. I mean, he's playing ahead of whatever he wants to do. Katie, I wonder if he's going to make some cash out of this. Jax, a little better off than the previous. Maybe going, wow, he really did tank a lot of those bullets then. Yeah. But probably working out, there might be another. Hopefully he's putting two and two together. <laughs> maybe oh. not. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, uh, it's just going to be exit frags, although we can get the bomb's been down for already 15 plus seconds. Almost at 20. We can see they're not moving. They're not looking for it. They're not coming on over. Have we got the poltergeist out of the system? No, we, no. No, we don't. We don't have the poltergeist out of the system. <laughs> Well, uh, I'll just need to close the show. I'll just give Alex my headset. I'll get outside. Don't you worry. There's a ghost in the studio, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get the Ghostbusters on the phone. Luckily, it was a short half. If, it, if, if Oh, no. Hold up a second. I just I shouldn't have said that. What have you done? I, I shouldn't have said that. What have you done? We've already got a poltergeist in the studio, and now... I shouldn't have said that. <gasps> He's very distracting. Yes, he is, this, isn't he? This one's a real nuisance out here. Oh, dear. I've never, uh, I've never actually come across any uh, spiritual creatures before, so this is the... Well, this this could be all but over, so let's, let's close this one out as it should be if Heroic can do this round in. Bear in mind, G2 have, have, have brought together what they can, Chad, and it, it really isn't a great deal. G2 back against the wall. They need 13 rounds straight on their CT side of Inferno as they've dumped three individuals over towards the B side of things early for control. But guess what? Amanek, he's all alone. Cadian patrolling in the banana, making sure that the information stays with Heroic. As the final four or three are clearing out the boiler and hall's control side of the map. Once that is taken, we can just see Heroic go back towards either side and run in with a set piece. They don't need to overthink this. Doesn't need to be too tricky. Keep it simple, stupid. Is there anything but stupid with a 15 to 2 scoreline here? This has been some fantastic Counter Strike from Heroic. Oi! Panic. Still always going to be a bit deadly, though, on, on any SMG, it seems. Oh, my lord's down. Be Again. careful. We've got Cadian low, down low. Maybe there's a chance for a bit more work to come through. And the right prediction if, if you're going to keep going this way from Amanek. Swings around, goes to library. T side poised with 35 seconds now. Looks like Amanek will be <laughs> stop it, Alex. Will <laughs> be the one to receive over by oh, library. Nades again. Heroic. Oh, he turned away. Oh gosh, the timing's outstanding from Hunter. Well played, but the rest have success. Four up, Cadian all there, but Hunter's doing everything he can in Heroic now. The last two alive to make this one. Oh, Kenny, desperate to get a gun, has to back away from it now. As the time takes down, the bomb's yet to go down. Five seconds on the board. They're going to just about start the plant. This was down to the wire, quite literally. And maybe there's life still in them. Tessus eats the first round. Nothing left. The defuse comes in. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Bad casting. I don't know if... Uh, Alex, you're back. I can hear something. Uh, you can hear oh. me? Oh, yeah, we can hear you. Yeah. The faulty guys is Hold back. On, I don't know. Let me just turn it all up so I can hear myself. Yeah, you can hear me? Yeah, we yeah, can hear you. Great. Oh, you wow, doing? it's good to be How back. How was your adventure to the netherworld? Goodness me, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm really not looking forward to death because I've had a little sneak peek. Not the one. Didn't like it? It's an infinite void of black, Lauren. Oh. An infinite void of black to make these last moments on Earth count. That's what I'm saying. Last moments? Well, I, did, I looked into the future as well. Christ. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry, Lauren. I'm going to miss you. Well, no, I wasn't kind of... Oh, that's cool. So look at Jax. He's throwing a smoke all the way really? to, to set up for the fast mid play. God, that, look, that looked like the old smokes that everyone used to throw from spawn there that kind of got taken out. And I see new versions being found. Stimmt. Uh, yes. Plus? Agreed. They speak German in the nether realm, obviously. <laughs> uh, uh.
At least it's, we've got you back on the line here. So fill me in, guys. I kind of looked I looked away from the screen a bit. I was faffing around with some cables and... Yeah. Tessus aced the pistol. Oh! Then they dealt with the force buy. Yeah. Then G2 scrapped together whatever they could. Yeah, how did that uh, go? Did a lot of damage early mm. to Cadian and Stown. And then uh, Heroic went for a little bit of a, a tricky play towards A. A, a finish, I kind of caught the end of that. Yeah, that was, was the round right yeah, there. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so now you're you're in the room and now you're uh, up to date. And nice to be back. Yeah, well, we've all... Uh, had Shout some... out to our audio guru who just had a very stressful five minutes. <laughs> Bless his heart. He's just it, running, running in, back there's and tape, forth. there's cables. I did hear like duct tape being yeah. rolled out. Oh, it was very dramatic. It's good to be back though. And with 50 seconds left, it's the A hit. Pop flashes galore. Next, I can't do anything. Neither can Amanek until about now. I even know they're through. Yeah, no idea. Now they do. Will he expect a second? And that's next up. Fell Testus onto Amanek. Kenny has to save the day. Does find the first, the transfer's not quite there. It is into the second, goes down. Bombs loose. It's a two on two. And if they kicked away with picking up that bomb, it could have been different. But bar up so low, it looks good. They've re full flashed. Oh, that hasty rush to pick up the bomb could have cost them the round here. A setup in such prime positions. And that was the angle Hunter was waiting for. So four for G2. Fighting tooth and nail to keep it competitive. I don't know if 11 CT rounds in a row is going to be on the agenda. Certainly does sound like too tall of an order for many. This was Kenny holding, holding down mouse one. God, how did that bullet even hit? <laughs> He's having a nightmare. We lost him. Uh, we lost him again. No, no, no just... Chad. The whole mouse pad, keyboard, and mouse all kind of conglomerated on it's my lap. Oh no, not Wait. this again. No, 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 no. Now, now. No, no, no. Guys. Oh, this is probably just one of the rounds it's they're going to... It's Nico. Okay, all right. I panicked for, for a little second. Congratulations, oh. Tessus. Takes the win. Up next to the plate. Oh. Hedian starts and central. Tessus? Tessus going wide. As Hedian clearly couldn't win from that move. Not sure if he's trying to build here. And Tessus thinking outside of the box. There's one option. He's closed it off. Cadian now, how does he respond? Oh dear, oh dear. that's a, it's a, it's a tie. Uh, okay. As you call it in the biz, Chad, it's a... Dead rubber. Dead rubber. So glad you finished that. I was not going to get it perfectly and it was going to sound even worse. I was going to combine damp squib and dead rubber. <laughs> damp squib. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I thought like Chad didn't get that for a first thing. Oh, like, damp squib. Damp squib. Uh, That's squib, uh, not squid. Now, Tom, squid Tom, our producer, thing. was watching the actual game. Look at all the utilities that has been thrown from G2. And there's Where? still... Oh, yeah, exactly. That's the point. Look at look at what they have left. Oh. Oh, look, they're all peeing. Got your eggs, boys. Hi, guys. All right. We'll be making... There's uh, What do we got under the counter? Door <laughs> stuck. Door stuck. Okay, well, you know, you are bang on, Chad. There isn't a single nade left on the CTs. It has worked. Uh, Heroic played noughts and crosses, then had a small breakfast in the kitchen. Love, what's that and today? they've actually achieved more than most Glock rounds I just they get a bomb down no, 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 or something. No, 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 come on now. 20 <laughs> seconds. Now, now. Dinked him. And that's about all. This is the SMG master. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely handling from Amanek, and he does do a fancy little knife spin to celebrate, but now it is time for their judgment, or at least one of the many. I'm glad uh, Heroic is still having fun. Yeah. I don't think G2 are. I think theirs is no. probably much more of a serious vibe. Yeah. Hey, guys, uh, if we lose a single round, uh, we lose the game. So... Uh, Chad, you called the comeback, call. so... I didn't I didn't call the comeback. What did you say? Uh, I, I forgot. I forgot, Lauren. I'm not quite sure exactly <laughs> what I said, but this one's going to be fast, and I can tell you that because Tessus has a oh, Mac 10 Oh, no. We <laughs> lost him again. Oh, no. The, the ghost is back. <laughs> Sorry, I oh, no. Oh, he's pressed some buttons. Oh, oh it's a nightmare. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's just Lauren and oh, I again. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to have to close the bloody show. Uh, we, we had a fit an interview in before that as well. Oh. <laughs> You can't. I gotta drive you and we need to get fuel, so yep. strap yourself in, literally. Here we go. G2, though, still putting up a really good fight, the best they can, but pouring out of the apartments of the T side. Heroic one away, of course, is all they need. Bore up poise, but Jack's unchecked on. The Molly goes deep, so he's still gonna have a moment to be so, so vital, and he is. Jack's when the time is of the essence. Oof. He does seem to be able to deliver Nico, though. He knows this spot oh so well. Very proficient in play. But Hunter outdoes him in the end. And now a 3v1 and Stown's on 15 HP. Yeah, d uh, no, no. No, I can't. Either. But uh, Stown can't either because he's did. As Amanek finishes him off right there. And well, the comeback for G2.
as it begins. Six rounds on the board. They need another nine to make this one possible. I don't know if it's a good idea, you know, the Rona. That's true. We yeah. need to make sure we're keeping our distance with the whole yeah. quarantine scenario. But um, oh. <laughs> Can we give a handheld mic uh, or something. I'm less worried about us because we're done very soon. But the guys coming up next, if Grace is <laughs> on the headset with the mic, that is going to be an absolute. Oh, that'd be gravity. bloody funny though. All right, so Kenny orping down banana here. Oh. Has the Asimov out and. Well, Burr up will be taken tagged a little bit there. This again, this this shouldn't pose a threat, but there there is always that little bit of danger now. Last time it was only literally just the Glocks. This time there is obviously a Deagles and a bit of armor, smoke or two playing ahead of it could have been a problem, but Nico gets quelled. Nicely handled by Jax. And Hunter. Waiting if Kadian was gonna repeat. No, but they've got the bomb for it. Okay. And that's is that an orb gone, actually? That was Kenny. It was, but Unless Burrup throws it away, it's probably not much use. He's just running into the site, giving up his life. 15 to 7 now. Round 22 in the back pocket as we move into round 23. Hiroki, you're going to hear that lovely sound round after round after round until we either get to overtime. Oh, no. I pressed my talk back and it sounded funny then for a second too. No, I'm Don't not press doing your it. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry, that. guys. Production, I'm just going to talk right to you. No, All right. We're going to be honest and open with each other, and that's the way that you need to be with everybody in your life. Lauren? Excuse me? <laughs> I wasn't having a jab. I was just, wow. you're the only one I can talk to at the moment. That's so. true. Well, Alex, you, you, you can talk to him, but he won't talk back. Jax. Goes for a walk down mid. He's got Hunter oh, by dear. his side. We saw this before. We're seeing it again, but here comes that second mid pressure, though. Nico wrapping around. They're ready. They're not ready enough. Hunter, the last one alive down there, and this could be the round to potentially do it. Well, Tessas, he's heard that scope. Or has he? he? Just Oh, the scope was toward quad. I thought it was towards balcony, so he yeah. definitely heard it. Okay. 2v3. They know that there's two at A because of that scope and the kill. If they go to B quickly, they can isolate this jewel onto Amanek and potentially get that bomb down. Has he got any util? Nothing left. It's going to be just Amanek and I potentially like, what, a nade? No smokes, no flashes. It's all about time here. One minute on the board and he needs to mitigate any danger, any threats. Keep himself very much alive. I'm going to go down so time will tick favorably towards the T's now. And for the post plant, they have nothing to work with themselves. Just the guns by their side, and maybe that's all they need. Molly forcing out Katie, and his position's noted. Doesn't want to give away the game. He's going to push forward. He's going to press the issue, and oh, God, it's a disaster for him. It could have been a great attempt, but bore up now. 1v2. Gets the first. Oh! Second, one way to close it. Heroic do make it to 16. 